Hi everyone and hope you're having a good day. If you don't know who I am, I'm Walter and in today's video we'll be looking at adding a discount pop-up form with automated email in Wix Studio. Before we continue, please know that this works for Wix Classic site as well. Now before we jump right in, I'll be very grateful if you could smash that subscribe button as I'm trying to get to 4k subscribers in the next month. Also give this video a like so YouTube can recommend this video to all Wix users out there wanting to add a discount pop-up form to their website. You can also turn on the bell notification to be the first to know of my future videos. Now let's add a discount pop-up form with automated email to our Wix Studio website. So right here in our Wix Studio editor and before we actually go into adding a pop-up, please know that this works perfectly well if you have a Wix store or you have a Wix booking or any Wix app that actually uses a coupon. Now the idea of this tutorial is to actually have a pop-up form so users can actually enter in their email address and receive an email that contains a coupon code. So they can use that coupon code to check out from your Wix store or your Wix booking or any other app that uses a coupon. So the first thing we want to do over here is to head over to the add elements and we're going to go over to the layout tools. Now over here we're going to go to the light boxes and we can add any of these light boxes over here as we want. Now I'm going to go with this very simple one which is save 20%. So click on that and it's going to add it onto your website. Now what you want to do is to add a form to it. So head back to the add elements here and then we're going to go over to contact and forms. Now we're going to go over to the subscribe and you're going to go ahead and choose any of these forms that are right here. Now know that you can choose any kind of form that you want or you can create a new form. Now what I want to do is to add a form that already exists which is this one for example here. So drag and drop and make sure that it says attach. We're going to attach this form to our stock and now you can go ahead and actually edit what this form does but before then let's make sure that this form is inside of this stock so now let's make sure that this form is within our stock all right so once this is done we're going to go over to this particular box or the light box and make sure that the elements are just within inside of our light box so you can also make sure that it aligns within this open space now to edit this we need to edit this further and what we want to do is to go to the settings go to the design i'm going to go over to the form background i'm going to make the fill and opacity to be zero percent just so it has the same background as the rest of the form now most importantly we also want to get rid of this subscribe to our newsletter head over to the edit form this is going to give us an editor where we can actually edit the visuals of our form amazing so we are here now and what we can do is to get rid of this text or we can change the text to say something else actually want to get rid of that and also make sure that this checkbox is checked by default so we're going to go over to the checkbox and head over to check by default so this is going to be yes and also we do not need it to be required now once you're done you're going to head over to this section to edit the name of the form so we're going to call this the coupon form and once you're done make sure to click on save and also save this form so that the changes is applied to your detail amazing so things are beginning to look all right and it seems like we're done with this part of our tutorial all right so the next part of this tutorial is to actually set up our automation so what we're going to do is to head over to our dashboard and then head over to the automations now that we're here on the automation click on the new automation and then start from scratch so here we're going to go ahead and rename this automation i'm going to call this the coupon or discount automation once you're done with that click on the wix forms and now we're going to select the specific form that we just created so click over here and select the specific form and then click here to select the form which is called the coupon form now once you're done click on ok and head over to the action section so once the trigger is selected we're going to send a coupon by action so over here you can see we have two options that you can use to send out coupons so you can send unique single use coupons or you can actually send a coupon that is the same for everyone which is what i want to choose for this particular tutorial so you can go ahead and select or create a coupon template so if you haven't created any one yet it's going to only give you the option to create a new one so let's click on that to create a new coupon so you can see that you can create a discount uh, amount of coupon or a discount percentage of coupon 
and there are others such as free shipping coupon, sale price or buy X get one free. So I'm going to stick with the percentage of and over here at the coupon code, what I want to call this is print 20. So you can give this any name that you want. Um, the coupon name can also be anything that you want. So here is the field where you actually select the value of how many percentage of you want. So I'm going to set that to 20%. So here we're going to select where we want to apply this coupon to. For me, I'm going to leave it at all products. We can decide to choose a specific product, a specific category, or even the minimum order subtotal. So I'm going to leave mine as all products. And here you can also choose to apply once per order, or you want to apply to each eligible item in the order. So I'm going to leave mine as apply once per order. And here, if you have a subscription package, you can decide to also allow your customers to use the coupon for one-time purchases for every recurring purchase. So we can leave that unchecked. And then we can also decide to allow the validity for when it's going to start and when it's going to end. So this is going to start on this particular day. And if you want it to actually end or stop letting users to or stop sending coupons to your users, then you can uncheck this and say, Set the end date so i do not want to set the end date i'm going to leave this one check and then we can also limit uses so as you can see here we're going to limit the total number of uses for these coupons that's going to be how many people are actually going to make use of these coupons so if you want to send it out to the first 100 customers who actually sign up then this is what you're going to do or you can leave that unchecked to actually have unlimited number of submissions and then finally, we have the limit to one use per customer. So the customer can use it only once after they submit their form. Or you can allow them to actually use the code unlimited amount of times. Now, once you're done, go ahead and click on create coupon. Now, once you've done creating your coupon, you can scroll all the way down here and you can see the sender details. So this is the email and the sender name that shows in the email when you actually send them out. So over here, you can add the name of your business. So I'm going to go ahead and add Wix Ideas. And here you can also add the email that will be your reply to email and click on save. Now, if this is your first time actually setting this up, which is going to send you a call to your email to verify that this email actually works. So head over to your mailbox and if you don't find it in your mailbox, you can go over to the spam and usually it's supposed to be around here. Now you can see this email actually happened to be in the spam. So click on it, get the code, head back to your automation and verify your email. Now this email has been verified and you can add more if you have a paid plan. So let's go ahead and save that. And here is the email template that we're going to be using. And this is the email that your customers will receive with the coupon code. So you can go ahead and edit the subject line in the preview text. I'm not going to be doing this in this section. And again, you can use dynamic values to personalize the emails. So things like the contact name, the contact email and so on. And over here, the most important part is the coupon code. So you can always attach this code to your customer's email. So let's go ahead and save and continue. You can design it, the email as much as you want. But for this tutorial, I'm not going to be going into the details. So go ahead and activate this automation. So once you have created your automation, as you can see over here, you can go ahead and actually test this out. Now, before we test that out, let's click on our light box and set the trigger. So over here, you can change what the name says. And I'm going to leave it as automatically display on pages. And when you get to the pages, click on these pages and you're going to check this part that says first page that visitor sees. So whatever page that the customer happens to land on first, they're going to find a pop up there. So once you're done, you can also select the delay or how long you want the pop up to show once they enter the page. So let's leave that at two seconds. You can also go ahead and set the schedule of what date and time that you want the pop-up to only show for. So let's go ahead and publish and preview this to see how this works. All right, so this is the home page and we're just going to wait for a couple of seconds to find our pop-up. So as you can see, this is the pop-up letting us know to enter in our email. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in the email, bring it right here. I'm going to leave this as yes, subscribe to your newsletter and submit. So once you've submitted this, you're going to go back to your email and here we have an email from Wix. And the first email that we have is a confirmation email 
and the other email that we have is the email with the coupon code so over here we have the coupon code and also the description so now your customers can easily copy this coupon code and apply it to their checkout so this is how you add a pop-up or a discount pop-up to your wix studio website with an email automation so that is all for this tutorial if this video was useful to you please don't forget to smash that subscribe button give this video a like and also leave a comment in the comment section below if you know this tutorial was useful to you thank you very much and i will see you in the next video